Good afternoon, greetings from Hindle Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. We have stuff everywhere. Finally starting to get caught up on some projects. Uh, this is a warranty repair job we're working on. Uh, came in the other day from Wyoming. And let's see here what we have. Hmm, gearbox parts. Yeah, everything's a mess. Got uh, gearbox and bearings and all kinds of good stuff. Hmm. One bearing. Hmm. Only three seals. Yeah, 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 I know. It's just another day. Uh, we've been selling Euro motorcycles since 2006, and it's always, uh, well, you never know. Um, this happened to have a case failure. Case did crack. 2019 model year, I believe. Maybe it's a 20, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, it is a warranty job. Um, filed a warranty claim. A couple days went by, contacted them, says, mm, what's the deal? They says, oh, well, your black cover's on back order. Hmm, that's not going to work. So what do we do? Yeah. We, uh, new cover, fresh coating, old cover, old coating. Yeah, we had a silver cover coated. Want to get the customer back up on the road just as quickly as possible. Uh, even though he didn't buy the rig from us, it came from out west. Of course, with him being Wyoming, he's rather far from Ohio, but uh, is in here for the repair. Um, a lot of the dealerships, they send the stuff off and have uh, Urbit rebuild it or uh, Emoy rebuild it in-house. Uh, we do most of our own rebuild stuff. Uh, engines, gearboxes, final drives, all that good stuff. Uh, so here's part of the case there. That's the front part of the gearbox. And then you see all the gears here. Um, got it all torn down. Yeah, it looks like a mess right now. Uh, what we'll do, I'm going to leave this set overnight. That'll allow all of our fluids to drip down. And then in the morning, we'll come in here um, and we'll clean everything up, clean all of our parts and get everything ready to go back together. And then once we have everything cleaned, we'll lay it out um, and then put it together. Uh, so this is just the dirty area where it's torn apart. That you guys might like to uh, see the guts of a gearbox completely sprawled out. Uh, you see there's our clutch rod, shifting mechanism, there's our uh, main shaft, our secondary shaft with our gears, doot 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 doot. Um, David if you're watching about your bike that came in and we put the, uh, we did a gearbox swap to get you going as quickly as possible because one part was on back order. Um, you had a bearing failure, there's a bearing inside here, well it was actually a tech bulletin for an improper assembly on your 21. Uh, so that's what we did there. Um, this is what was basically the bad unit. This all would have been replaced, but there was, uh, I think one of the gears was missing. So uh, we went ahead and just did you a swap, put your new box in, so you're good to go. Uh, but that's what the deal was with yours. And then on this one, uh, Stephen, yeah, you're, uh, you see your crack. Some of those did that in this model year. Uh, they believe it had to do with the area where I think it was something about the, the distance here and the pressure and the stress and all kind of good stuff there on that. So it did crack, so we got a new cover. We're gonna put it back together. Um, again, this is complete guts torn down. Uh, Chad, if you're watching, this was a little thing that was driving you nuts there for a while, putting it in backwards. So you also wanna be careful. Um, make sure you get everything put together the correct way. Otherwise you will have a headache, so. I uh, don't quite understand what they've done to me here. Um, I guess I'll figure it out as I do with everything. I know what the seal washers are for. They must be wanting me to put the seal washers around the adjustment pieces. Oh yeah, here's the seal washers there. Of course, I'll make sure I get our snap ring back in. Um, I don't know. What is the... I don't know what they put that in there for. Get a lock washer. What do you need the lock washer for, guys? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. And it's only one bearing, so I don't know. I guess they must not have had the other bearing. 6304 slash C3. Those are off-the-shelf bearings if you guys are ever in need. There's 
you know those can come from different suppliers uh, bearing prices will vary widely um, of course everything else looks okay so we'll get it all cleaned up and then put back together and then it'll go back in the bike and of course here's the bike yes the sidecar is off of it no you don't have to take the sidecar off to take the gearbox out however uh yeah it's a lot easier to to do it um, that way you can make sure you get everything back in place and of course with having the capability to do it rather quickly it's no big deal and i'll bring you up here and show you that i wasn't kidding yes wyoming and what else what else what else what else <laughs> oh yeah there was a gentleman the other day he bought a new final drive and he was trying to install it in a bike and he was concerned that his studs were bent or something and his posting said that he was uh the one stud was off by i believe it was uh 0.5 millimeters half a millimeter 0 0.05 millimeters it was something very very small uh yeah there's typically an alignment deal a little bit of an issue when you go to put these final drives back in uh, these studs will flex uh, you can see that one's yeah see that one's not perfectly straight uh, they'll flex in does that cause some side load some stress maybe on the case yeah possibly uh, but from a few years ago we'll go ahead and upgrade this one while it's in uh, but from a few years ago what it was was the nylock the nylock fasteners with this on there and you gotta envision your final drive this is down tight here and going down the road as this fine as this swing arm is moving up and down this nut's going to sit there and go like this it's going to come loose if you don't keep them tight then it will tear the studs out that's why they went to the nord lock fasteners so we'll be putting those on when we put it back together as always really appreciate you guys watching hopefully you kind of enjoyed the mess here yeah it is the end of the day so everything's a mess uh, we'll get everything cleaned up in the morning and then get everything put back together and a gentleman will be on the road uh, the end of the week or first next week i don't know when he's going to come to pick it up but uh, no big deal i often love the uh some of the comments when i post photos about uh how things get done and people flip out and panic and so i did i had a photo of a crankshaft and a press a while back posted it just for the heck of it see what somebody would say and I, it was amazing the number of comments people just flying off oh my goodness nobody bothered to look at the uh, gauge on the press there was absolutely no pressure on that whatsoever i i, I don't get it sometimes uh, wonders of the internet nonetheless hind motorcycle sales Eat Ohio, we always appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we're going to be having some more videos coming out with some different inventory that will be in here before you know it. Uh, it is the middle of July already, so September's right around the corner. Oh, yeah, I forgot to comment about the missing seal, or maybe I did. See, there's the, uh, the seal. Yeah, they did not send me the other seal. They just sent me the one seal. Wonderful on them. Uh, maybe they didn't know. I don't know. Sometime around this time frame was when they added the other seal so we'll have to make sure that uh, everything's the same on the cover which it appears that it is um, on our new covers so we'll have to uh i've got I think i've got that seal on the shelf um, i made that mistake the other day too a customer called up wanted a seal or sent an email wanted the seal uh for his gearbox didn't think about the fact that it was a later model so they did add an extra seal there's your external seal and then wherever the other one's at there it is and then this is your internal or your this one goes internally it's in here and then this is down through yada yada on and on and on anyway i do motorcycle sales eat in ohio as always really appreciate you guys watching 